Welcome to the Super Friday Halloween living room equally awesome video day show. <laughs> Sorry, I got all flustered trying to think of what to say, and that's how it came out. Um, yeah, yeah. So um, this week was was intense. I quit my job. I got mad and I quit my job. I said some things that I probably shouldn't have said. And I quit my job. Well, we'll be okay. We always are. Um, we being me and myself, because apparently there's more than one of me. So, questions. Um, first off was winter. How many places have you lived and how did uh, they affect your being out? Um, I've lived two places. Several places in one, two in the other. Um, I grew up in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, lived all over the city in little towns around, but they're not going to count because in 10 years they'll be annexed and won't exist anymore. Madison is in Wisconsin, but to be completely honest, like you go to Madison and it's this little world inside of Wisconsin that doesn't really have anything to do with the rest and the rest of it is like uh, rednecks and rampant racism and homophobia. Um, not everywhere, but in a lot of places. Um, so honestly, the place I grew up in was was very liberal. So many gay people, a huge gay community. I mean, I came out when I was 15, confident enough in my, in my environment to be able to do that and not have a problem with that. Now, California is where I live now, San Diego, and that really doesn't affect my being out because I think I've already established myself and I think wherever I go, I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I uh, agree with Megan on the whole pretentious aspect. I don't think I can stay here for, for too long. Um, I'll get a few years here, enjoy the, w the warm weather, start up school, maybe finish school, and then move along. Um, Mark, how do we deal with boredom and what is our Halloween costume? Um, I can't give you a specific answer on how I deal with boredom because every time I get bored I deal with it in a different way. Usually it involves running through the house, jumping up and down, singing, screaming, making loud noises, yelling at the cats, to pass the time. Um, yeah. Um, what is our Halloween costume? Apparently this is my Halloween costume. I don't really have anything. This is a mullet wig, or a wig I bought for an 80s party and then cut it into a mullet because I look fly with a mullet, you guys have to admit. Um, yeah, no, I'm not doing anything for Halloween. Halloween's stupid. Um, Sophia, is there anything we have done that we wanted to seem more obvious so someone would notice it? Now, I would probably have to say no, just because of the fact of when I want to be obvious, <laughs> it's this. There's no way no one could notice. I mean, if you don't notice, I will repeat myself over and over again. Ask my friend. Um, she can't really handle some of the things I say because I'm a very blunt, vulgar person and she'll try to block them out and continue the conversation and I have to stop and repeat what I said until she acknowledges that it was said. That That's basically how I roll. <laughs> oh, I think this wig is getting to me. I just said how I roll. Um, Bob, first of all, first of all, first of all, I have to say that I love you for saying faux fur. I love faux fur. Not the actual faux fur, but I love saying faux fur. It's my favorite thing to say. My favorite thing to say is faux fur. Faux fur, faux fur, faux fur. Yeah, yeah, we'll end it there. Um, do you have a certain article of clothing that you're embarrassed by, but you absolutely love? Um, yeah, uh, I've gained a little bit of weight um, since I moved to San Diego. Um, not to say I'm, I'm fat or anything, but I, I, I developed a mushroom top, and a lot of my shirts were slender and form-fitting when I moved here and um, when I wear them now a little mushroom top, muffin top, popping over the side so it's a little embarrassing but I just try not to wear them because it's depressing um, Megan, you asked two questions um, what do you do when Gamo is so gay that after you watch his videos you get glitter all over your keyboard bitch you better love the glitter you gotta pick that shit up Throw it on your face and be like, sparkle, sparkle, bask in my gayness. My flames are bright, and you will de not deny me my brightness and my sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. 
Um, and then the other questions were favorite and least favorite subjects in school. I would have to say my favorite subjects subject in school was anything involving around art. Uh, I love photography, painting, drawing, all of it. Um, least favorite would probably have been science. I, I didn't really like science. I didn't really go. I didn't really care to. It was, it was blah. Um, for my question, um, I'm going to ask you what your top three videos or favorite videos on YouTube are um, and why. Um, I just went through my list of favorites, which was like 100 videos, and I watched quite a few of them to pick out my actual favorites, and I actually came up with four. There's one for first place, two for second place, and, and one for third. Uh, my favorite video of all is a, a video, Jeffree Star says, oh hell no. It's very, very vulgar, but for some reason I'm like enthralled by it. It's completely amusing. It totally fits my my dirty, evil sense of humor, and I just I die every time I watch it. Um, second place is the tie between a video about uh, an energy drink called Power Thirst. Random ADD video. I absolutely love it. Um, and Magic Fireplace. Now, Magic Fireplace was a video posted by a guy named Drennan who got booted for some reason and then when he re-upped his channel he asked us asked people who were his subscribers if there's anything he wanted uh, if we wanted him to put up and he would repost it and I asked him to post that it's so funny um, screaming about Dakota Fanning and masturbating in front of the fireplace you know just does it for me <laughs> uh, and then my third would have to be a music video from a local rapper in Madison, Wisconsin, which I found actually after I moved to California. Now the video is called That's How It Is. And it's about how, how hardcore it is to grow up on the streets of Madison, Wisconsin, which every time I watch it just amuses the hell out of me. This is a place where people can walk down the street at three in the morning in any neighborhood and nothing's ever gonna happen to you. People don't lock their doors, their car doors are unlocked a lot of the time, and you know, there's so many cops, it's appalling. I hate them all. I have to put on cruise control when I go there because I'm so used to driving in California that I go fast and I'll get pulled over and I only have one point left on my Wisconsin driver's license. But yeah, I'll post links in the sidebar. I don't know if it's this way or that way, but um, yeah, they'll be there. And um, yeah, all right. Happy Halloween. Have good time. Have good time. That's what the lady says when she gives me my sushi at the place I go to. Have good time. Yes. Good day, sir.